Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supergirl video, episode number 208. Today we have got pro Brock Lesnar, the beginning of a King of the Ring, sandbagging that, and then the finish of Hideo Itami in SummerSlam Ring Domination. So let's actually get into a game right now. we got about nine shards left, so I'm guessing two or three games should be able to finish this Hideo Itami. Then we're going to pro that Brock Lesnar, sandbag a King of the Ring, and I'll show people what that means if you don't know what it is because it's a very very good strategy to do one in early in early stages of the new tier so it's good very good you can also sandbag by putting uncommons in but I'm pretty sure most of you guys are familiar with that great lost the first game come on power power I didn't see what it called there and we lost brilliant brilliant great start <laughs> great start might have to play more than three games if we uh, if we start losing all these ring dom games and I am actually really close to my pull as well. I'm actually on 259 resets. So I'm guessing by the end of this ring domination, I should have my pull. Hopefully I can get it on camera, maybe on stream if I decide to stream later on tonight. Uh, but I don't know. Okay, we are. This is embarrassing, guys. 6 1. Uh, okay, well, we've lost anyway. No point challenging that Seth Rollins. No point, no point. So. So, so, so. I'm guessing, yeah, 40, 41 resets, about 300-ish around there, I'll get my reset. So, we've got four picks here, let's see if we can get a shard straight off the bat. Come on, let's see if we can get a reset on cam, that'd be cool. Get my, get my pull, I mean my paper, not a reset. Come on. No, okay. Well, we'll have to play another game, but we'll, at least we'll get some shards. We don't, I want to try and finish video in this video, so we'll see if we can do that. But it is time to pro the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar worked hard in Money in the Bank for this. Really worked hard. I don't know if I'll ever get another pro Money in the Bank card again, but at least I've got this Brock. It will help me through probably the whole this whole SummerSlam 17 tier, so it's definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and unlock both of them, and we're gonna go and pro him. He is completely done. Both of them are done. Not even gonna check because I'm so sure. Pro that, and there we go. There is pro Brock Lesnar. That is so cool. Look at the spray paint on the back of that card. That looks pretty cool. So, uh, let's go on to SummerSlam 17 card. There he is. Pretty decent. Let's lock him in. Start a King of the Ring real quickly. Uh, not leveled up. Not trained up at all. So, what I'm thinking is this. And then... And then Jinder can stay in there, but we'll replace Alistair Black with this Brock card and then do this hopefully it doesn't put me down it does puts me down to Wrestlemania okay I see I see okay so what else could we do what okay we could we could sandbag the solo female maybe that could work who did we have in here we had Bailey and Carmella I think yeah of course Okay, how about we do this then? How about we get in a common? Is that would that be worth it? I'm not sure if that would be worth it or not. That might might be might be worth a try actually. That really might be worth a try. I hope it works out for me though. I hope it works out. I hope it's not all for nothing. Let's let's roll with this. We are in SummerSlam, Stark King of the Ring. Yes, I'm sure. Let's do it. I'm not sure if that was a smart move or not, putting that common D in there, but that is what I've decided to do. So let's quickly check out Battleground. I've already opened the pack to see the cards we've got left. Only four hours in prep phase. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get maxed. We've got about uh, 31 charges left to get, so we should be able to get that very soon in ring domination. Um, hopefully, everyone charges. It's not looking not looking great here. But maybe you know, I know I know a lot of people like to save up their charges and just do it all at once. I do that sometimes. So not gonna worry just yet. Let's get back into Ring Dom and finish off my decks in Valid, of course. Because of that Brock Lesnar. Let's quickly autofill. Brock Lesnar doesn't even make it into there because obviously he's not leveled up. Uh do we wanna buy do you wanna buy five bouts or just do yeah, we'll buy five bouts. We'll buy five bouts. Let's get into it. Let's get this Hideo Tami, get a bunch of resets, hopefully get my pull. And talk about something that we spoke about a lot on stream yesterday, guys. We streamed for three hours yesterday, and it was a big focus of that stream actually, and that was transfer line. Um 
the deadline and uh, everyone was like, oh, Sanchez is going to leave. Well, I am proud to announce that Sanchez will remain an Arsenal player for the foreseeable future. <sighs> How good does that feel to say that out loud? It is. It's great. It's great. So to everyone who was like, you know, just just not being very nice about it while well, he's staying at Arsenal and, you know, we sold, we sold, we sold the Ox. But yeah, it's all good. It's all good. We can still win the league. We can still win the league. Drop me down in the comments, guys. Who you think the best transfer was this season in the Premier League? So not Neymar to PSG. That doesn't count. Um, best Premier League signing. Is it Lukaku? Is it is it Lacazette? Um, is it is it Salah? If, I don't know. Morata? Nah. But yeah, let me know, guys. Let me know. And uh, let me know what you think about Sanchez staying at Arsenal for the season or until January at least. Uh, which is obviously very good news, very, very, very good news. And hopefully we can do well. Anyway, enough enough football talk aside. Well, what we're going to talk about now is, um, is this past Raw and SmackDown. God, were they were they really not that good? I mean, Raw was okay. Mediocre at best, I would say. But SmackDown, SmackDown was bad. It was boring. SmackDown was quite quite boring. And that, I don't Oh, hard and pull. Let me quickly count that. That is reset number 260. And we got eight shards left, four picks remaining. So I'll have to definitely play at least two more games, I'm guessing. Come on. It's gonna be it's gonna be nice to see the go to sleep um animation in this game actually. Never never seen that before, so that's gonna be really, really cool. Uh, actually, no, we obviously have seen it as Hideo has had other cards. Did he have that did he have that finisher in his in his older cards? I'm not sure. Not sure, but it's going to be cool to actually, well, yeah, if I actually ever get a pro of him, but come on, charisma, proc, speed, 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 we lost, we lost. Not too many cut angles I'm seeing, but every now and again there'll be one, and uh, he'll, he'll always seem to proc on me and get the win. Come on, charisma, please. Speed, oh yeah, I think we win that. We do, brilliant. This is good news. It's good news. Is Hideo Itami a pro for anyone else, guys? I know Hideo's a Tami. Hideo Itami's a pro for who was in the stream? And said uh, TM. Shout out to you, man. That, that's who it was. Pro Hideo Itami. That's pretty cool. Still haven't got a pro normal Summer Slam 17 pro. Not sure how long I have to wait until I get one of those. Um, just hoping that what's next? Team RTG's next, isn't it? Ugh. Maybe in Team RTG will be like Apollo Cruise or something. I can see that happening. That's what I got to pray for. Apollo Cruise for Team RTG, Summer Slam 17 card. That'd be a pro. That'd be absolutely awesome. Because if not, I'd just have to count on uh, on Battleground. And, and the luck on Battleground is not excellent. King of the Ring luck's been quite bad. Obviously, we've just started the King of the Ring, so hopefully this could be it. And hopefully we can get to the final. Okay, eight picks. We're definitely going to get some shards here. There we go on the first one. There's Rare, Kevin Owens. Pull 261. Come on, uncommon Roman Reigns. Curtis Axel, come on. I want to get my people. If I could get my people on this video, that'd be that'd be crazy. Three picks left. And three shards left. So we're gonna get one here. Could this be it? Could this be my SummerSlam 17? It's not. It's it's super rare Rusev. Just brilliant. 262. And it continues. Alright. Uh, how many shards? How many shards we've got left? Three, six shards left. I would say two more. Oh, and we're, look who we're facing. Two games left, and look who we're facing, guys. This is pretty cool. Kill Moose Kill. Let's see if we can beat him. I know, I know, I'm pretty obvious he's got a curtain goal. I'm, I'm guessing he's got a curtain goal. He should. Oh, okay. Big Cass. Okay. Alright, this is. Come on, we need to win this. Oh, come on, Charisma. Oh, toughness speed. We lost that just because it's toughness. It's not good. Not good at all. Okay, we'll go. We'll go here. Oh no. Okay, come on, come on. Speed, speed. Yes, it's toughness speed. No, I think we lost. Yeah, we lost. Oh, that is such a cool image though for Jinder. That was his uh, money in the bank card, wasn't it? We're actually gonna lose against Kill Me's Kill. That's not not good. Unless, unless this is it. Was that the turning point? Do I win this? I do. This could be, this could be it. Come on. Oh, no. That's disappointing. Disappointing. I thought he was going to... 5-4. We actually lose that. It's not good. It's not good. Very nice Daniel Bryan picture, to be fair. 
Uh, four picks, four picks, four picks. Nope. There we go, there's one. Super rare ultimate warrior. Let's go with that one, and we'll go with this little one at the top here. Nope, okay. So, one more game. If we win, we might just finish off Hideo Itami. If not, we'll have to play another one. But we're going to get him. We're going to get him. We're about to get him. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll then... Nah, it's a bit, bit, bit early for a King of the Ring, I'd say. I, I don't think we've gotten into one yet. But no matter what, let's try and win this game. Hopefully it gives me Kurt Angle. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Let's see what we get. We don't get Kurt Angle, but we have up, down. Okay, we've got all the arrows. Who do we go for here? We'll go for... I think we'll go with Jeff. We'll go with Jeff, and we'll go with... Right at the top, so there's no cut angle. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what we do. Let's see what happens. Okay, speed is what we want. Toughness is what we get. I think we just managed to win that. We do. Brilliant. Now let's go with Samoa Joe. Ah, it's cut angle. I knew we had that cut angle. Okay. Should be okay. We made a little pocket here. I'm going to go and put in the Sean Michaels in there. 3 2 to me. Do what can we do? What can we do? We could do this, and then we've got up and down. So, okay, well, okay, so okay, we have to win this no matter what. What's our better option here? If we go down, we beat Samojo in toughness. That is it. Obviously, unless he procs, and then he'd beat him in speed. So, I'm pretty sure Brock's the option here, and we're looking for power. Proc, Brock, don't proc it. Oh my god, we did it. We actually did it. Wow, wow, that was lucky. That was really, really lucky. Okay. Good, we should be able to finish off video here and then we'll end the episode. Maybe I'll be streaming as well later on tonight, guys. Uh, the the Bobby Roode ring dom finishing while we're just playing through uh, throughout until we get him. Bit of money in the bank grind as well. Oh, there's a legendary Brock. Pretty cool after praying money in the bank Brock and after winning that last match there with a the Brock. That's cool. Imagine right now if we pull SummerSlam 17 Brock Lesnar. How cool would that be? How cool would that be? Uh, super rare. Enhancement. What's this? Ultra rare. Pump it up. 266 resets. We're about to get 267 right here. It's another super rare. 268 right there. And Hideo Itami. Let's see if we can fill a summer slam. And we don't. We pull an ultra rare. <laughs> and there we go, guys. There is Hideo Itami. Pretty awesome. Obviously, not a pro. But uh, yeah. Pr pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's go and lock that card in, and uh, and then we're gonna start that grind on Bobby Roode in the stream later on tonight. And if I don't stream, then tomorrow I'll try and get a stream out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, do drop it a like for this beast, Brock Lesnar Pro. Uh, obviously, I'll level him up when he gets into a King of the Ring token him all of that. But I do want to get the best image on him real quickly before before anything else and that is the one with the title it just has to be this one right there it's just it looks brilliant he's got the title in the picture it looks like a beast and yeah it's gonna be look at the look i can't believe i got both these cards so happy with that now i really hope i can get a pro of uh and just a normal SummerSlam 17 pro something i can add in a tag team or or something, you know, just for King of the Ring purposes and stuff like that. Because this is all good, but a couple people have have uh, have have money in the bank cards and obviously the cut angle, and obviously an extra one on the side. So it would be good if I could get one soon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, take care and peace out. All right, guys, welcome back to episode 208. And I decided to record this extra little part here because look at what we just pulled off the board, literally. It's the reset after I ended the video. The reset after, I mean, come on. Why couldn't I have pulled this on camera? It was so close. I needed to show you guys before the next video. So I'm just gonna add this on to what you guys saw at the beginning, obviously. But this is my new pity pull, my last pity pull. It took me 269 resets to get it. And it is the Demon Finn Bala. Oh, it's such a cool card. It's up, it's really high tier as well. Probably not going to be a pro anytime soon unless maybe I get him from like Battleground, King of the Ring, or pull him again. He probably won't be in an event anytime soon. But what a card! Very happy to have pulled that. And, uh, and yeah, let's just quickly there we go confirm that I have pulled that Finn Balor. 
uh, Uncommon Stop Sign and SummerSlam 17 Finn Balor. I'm going to quickly go ahead and lock him in as well. I mean, it came out of nowhere as well. I was literally like, okay, what what, what do I do now? Um, do I even just quickly start Ring Dom again? I was like, oh, it's going to take me a while to get the first shard. Just wanted to grind a little bit, get some resets. I was just like, oh, let me just go into a game world mode. And boom, first thing I get off the board after that stop sign, first reset, that Finn Balor card. Like, honestly, mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. Let's go and see him right here. Lock him in and let's let's try a couple a couple pictures, a couple different ones on him. Um my elite, the elite one I'm a really big fan of. I really like this one because he kinda look he looks really cool in it, but it's not demon Finn Balor, it's just regular Finn Balor. Black card, that picture looks very, very nice. What else do we have? Um What about that one? That one that one look does this one look cool? Yeah, that one does look cool actually. Really cool. Let's see what else we got. Uh, his ultimate one, the one holding up the collar, that's pretty cool as well, I think. That is pretty cool. Uh, let's try his mania one, which is demon as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. Looks okay. I th I'm, a, I'm not sure. I, I do like this one. This one's pretty cool. But personally, I think I'm a fan. I, I was really a fan of this one, but I think this one right now looks the coolest of him, actually. Could, I will, can always change it later, but yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Brilliant. Uh, Alright guys, yeah, we're going to leave it at that actually, you know, I wasn't planning on this, but obviously just bought that Finn Balor, really awesome, do drop it a like guys if you've enjoyed, and for my people, and in the next video guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap out that J user, and I'm also going to get the right, the correct ranked deck picture in there, because that's obviously not accurate anymore, so anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video, so then take care and peace out.